Today we're looking at how to show your sense of community to connect with your followers on social media. This is um, James Legal Law and what they have done here is obviously, you know, that they practice law. Um, but what they've done here is you can see that they use their Instagram very much as a kind of shop window, their solicitors, you know, so they're a shop window very much into their business and they keep everything quite branded. Um, but they do like to show, I guess, you know, that kind of human side behind their business. Everything's really kind of, I don't know, just very human, very um, almost, you know, like talk, chatting to a friend kind of thing, which, again, is quite unusual for solicitors. Now, what I really like about this post is um, charity work, I guess, really shows a sense of community and gives us insight into, I guess, where the company's passions and priorities lie. Here, the show and um, charity really does begin at home for the Heron Educational Foundation. Read how we help them through a project challenge to ensure deserving East Yorkshire families now have a place to call their own. And then it gives a little link to explain more about how they are supporting this charity. So what I really like about it is it shows, um, obviously, you know, a member of the team with, again, a member of the charity outside of it, which I think is fab. Um, it gives a kind of like, you know, who on the team helped. It gives us a brief explanation of what they did. But then links, obviously, you can't link properly on Instagram, but it means that you can copy and paste it or they could have done link in the bio um, if you're interested in learning more. Although a lot of people will like like it just as the, uh, the idea so will engage without actually reading the whole thing. So I think, you know, the idea of this is that, you know, they're really showing that they're engaged in the community as a local independent business. And, um, you know, as, as we say, you know, that people buy from people and people like to see the human element um, and connect better with the business. Now, if I was um, these guys, I would want to understand, I guess, at a sort of very quick glance, how my social media was working for me. So I would go to um, the baby platform, go to insight summary, and then I would click on, obviously it would be James Law. And then in here, um, there would be um, maybe, so here, obviously it's maybe tech, but what you would find is um, the actual business. Then you go to, um, you see how many followers you've got. You would see how many posts you've got. You would see how many engagements you've got even goes as granular as how many engagements you've got per day and your best post. Now, if I was um, these guys, then what I would be doing is having a look at this on a sort of maybe monthly basis and having to think about, right, okay, you know, if I'm posting this much and I'm only getting this much engagement, how do I improve? And then that's where you go to your best post. And you think about, well, should I do more of this? Should I do more of that? You can go to your calendar. You can start looking at your comparisons. There's so many great things that you can do to then build on it. But this, I guess, is your starting point if you just want a quick snapshot. Now, as always, if you've got any questions, click on the little blue button. We love to help.